In this video, we will dive into the story of a legendary tank that emerged during critical moments of World War II, using impressive firepower and strength to face tough enemies on the battlefield. Imagine an armored vehicle carrying a powerful 90mm gun and thick armor designed to breach previously impenetrable enemy defenses. In clashes against fearsome German tanks like the Panther and Tiger, this tank showed outstanding performance, penetrating defense lines from a distance and bringing significant innovations to the world of armored vehicles. Although its arrival was late and its battlefield contribution limited, this tank remains a symbol of impressive armoured strength at the war's end. The tank we're discussing is the M26 Pershing, a symbol of the rise and dominance of Allied armour expected to rival and counter the formidable Nazi German tank threat. The M26 Pershing was a heavy tank previously used by the United States Army. It was named to honor General John Joseph Pershing, a famous commander from World War I. The M26 Pershing began its journey slowly and with difficulty because initially the need for a heavy tank was not a top priority for the US Army. The main focus was on producing medium tanks like the M3 Lee and M4 Sherman, which became crucial to the British and American armored forces by the war's end. These tanks had high production rates and were quite effective in various early battles, overshadowing the development of more expensive and complex heavy tanks. However, other countries developed their own heavy tanks in response to the German tank threat. For example, the Soviet Union developed the Josef Stalin RS series, with the IS-2 being the most famous model. The IS-2 was equipped with a powerful 122mm main gun and thick armor, making it one of the best heavy tanks on the European battlefield. When German heavy tanks like the Panther and Tiger began appearing in Europe, the situation changed drastically. The Panther and Tiger were known for their superior firepower and thick armor, making them a serious threat to Allied tanks. When the Allies faced these tanks during the invasion of France on D-Day and in subsequent battles, the shortcomings of their tanks, armament and protection became very evident. Especially for the M4 Sherman, which was the backbone of Allied armor, it was clear it couldn't match the Panther in terms of firepower and protection. The Sherman was only equipped with a 75mm gun that was less effective against the thick armor of German tanks, and its relatively thin armor made it vulnerable to attacks. The design for a new American heavy tank began with the ambitious goal of creating a weapon system capable of competing with the increasingly advanced German tanks on the European battlefield. The initial development phase involved creating several prototypes with various designs and features, which were tested to determine their effectiveness and battlefield survivability. One of these prototypes was the T26E3, which was eventually chosen for mass production as the heavy tank M26 Pershing. The M26 Pershing was equipped with a powerful 90mm M3 main gun. This gun was designed to compete with the famous 88mm guns of German tanks like the Tiger and Panther. The 90mm M3 gun had advantages in firepower and accuracy, making it effective against the thick armor of enemy tanks. Besides the main gun, the M26 Pershing also had supporting weapons to enhance its combat capabilities. Alongside the main gun, there was an M1919 Browning machine gun with a caliber of 7.62 x63mm used against infantry and light vehicles. On top of the turret, the tank also featured an M2 Browning machine gun with a caliber of 12.7 x99mm. In terms of protection, the M26 Pershing was designed with thick armor, especially on the front of the tank, to provide maximum protection against enemy fire. This armor was one of the features that set the M26 apart from medium tanks like the M4 Sherman, which had thinner armor and was less effective against heavy fire. The M26 Pershing was operated by a crew of five, a driver, a gunner or radio operator, a main gunner, an ammo loader and a commander. The M26 Pershing used a Ford GAF 8-cylinder gasoline engine with a power range of 400 to 450 horsepower. This engine allowed the tank to reach a maximum speed of 25 miles per hour with an operational range of 100 miles. Overall, the M26 Pershing weighed about 46 tons, making it one of the largest heavy tanks used by the US Army during World War II. 
The M26 Pershing first arrived in Europe in early 1945, a period when Germany was already trapped in defensive positions on multiple fronts and rapidly losing territory. In this context, the arrival of the M26 Pershing was considered late. Although around 200 units arrived in Europe, only about 20 M26 tanks saw combat during World War II. Some of these tanks were part of the 3rd Armoured Division and successfully knocked out two Tiger tanks and one Panther tank from distances of up to 1,000 yards. Meanwhile, even as the war in Europe was nearing its end, the Japanese Empire was still fighting in the Pacific. The M26 Pershing was planned for use in the invasion of Okinawa as part of the Allies' efforts against the Imperial Japanese Army. However, similar to the situation in Europe, the Pershing arrived too late and was not used effectively. 11 M26 units did not make it off their amphibious transport in Okinawa before the battle ended. The Japanese Army also used more light tanks and wheeled combat vehicles, which did not require the M26 to join the conflict. Overall, the production of the M26 Pershing from November 1944 to October 1945 totaled 2,202 units.